what a failure my experiment with sumo deadlifts have been. This is my last day with it and I'll be going back to conventional as you have seen on my live streams. Now obviously there's a few things that I know is why I feel bad on sumos. Now the first one is just pure leverages. I'm very bent over when I'm coming down to get the sumos. As you can see here, I'm even more pitched over than I would be on a conventional deadlift, especially when there's a little bit more weight on the bar. Now, the top set today was 144 times 5, which I failed. I only got 4 reps, and I'll tell you why that happened. Now, the first instances was my hands were just blocking the full extension. I could not fully extend my hips through. My hands were just too squished forward. Maybe I should have went wider, but then that leads on to the other one. I don't have that external hip rotation, I'd say it is, uh, that really get your hips twisted out and legs twisted out, even though I high bar squat. But that's the difference. My high bar squat, I have a quite a narrow stance. You know, I'd say someone that does low bar with a wide stance, it would be much better on sumo. And secondly, my um, my tibias are long compared to my femurs. Well, they're probably roughly the same size, size but I'd say my tibias are longer and over, overall. And that makes leverage it really bad for this. But... Luckily, I have good ankle mobility for squats, otherwise I wouldn't be able to high bar squat, but that also plays into a bad role of the deadlift, because my knees naturally want to push over my toes, which is not good for the deadlift, really. Now, here we go. 144, and you can really just see the pitched over arm, basically 90 degrees there. And you can see the full extension at the top is not there. My hands are just blocking it. I had to like pull up to get the bar over. And then obviously it's really uncomfortable going back down. And it was playing up my SI joint. And you can see there, I feel that last rep. But it really was hit my SI joint badly. Um, which I might have blamed the lunges for. But I just haven't done lunges as well since. So it's obviously this. But... One good thing I noticed out of it was these feel really good after since it's not really hitting the same back extensions, extenders as the conventional would. So a lot less strain up the middle muscle of the back. But I'll be going back to conventional and I'll be smashing it. I already had really good sets since. Now here's a back angle of my pause deadlifts. As you can see, pause right off the ground. And then pause right before the ground. Now maybe I should come back up before I hit the ground and just go back up like that. But I kind of like doing these double pause deadlifts. I'll be hitting up more weight uh, over the next few days or weeks because I really want to push these hard while I'm still in the lighter ranges of my deadlifts. And then I move on to dumbbell RDLs and these sell it really good as well. So I just wrap them out. I'm really trying to focus on feeling that stretch in the hamstring and glutes. So you want to kind of feel like you're pulling the hamstring away from the glute. But you don't want to be feeling it in your lower back or you're not doing it right. You don't have a bend in your lower back like I'm doing here. It's perfect. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So if you want to try that, give it a go. Then I moved on to Larson Press. Here we have... 80 kg for two sets, eight reps. Everything moved very well. Happy with everything overall, especially on this bench. Feels very nice. And then we move on to dumbbell press. And I think this did not feel very good for me today. I was just feeling my shoulder blades today. Obviously, I must have just set up a bit badly. I think I had the dumbbells too low down my body, as you can see here. Now, if I put them up a bit further, it would probably feel a lot better. And then after this, I did my first ever set of shoulder, seated shoulder dumbbell press. And I think they feel really good. 
Obviously, I need a little bit heavier weights now, but obviously, I started with lighter weights and they feel really good. I'm really happy with how these felt. So, I'll probably be doing two sets of this to fill the air as we go on with heavier weights. I won't be doing 20s for a good while because I don't want to overdo it too fast and I want to make sure I get the technique down properly before I go any further. So, peace out and see you in the next video.